everyone today i'm going to be unboxing and trying out this new box of prismacolor premier 132 tin of pencils i am going to be unboxing them i will be organizing them into the colors i would use them i will be testing them out and putting them in a color chart and i will also be trying different blending techniques to see how they blend with different blending techniques so let's unbox them see what they come out like um, I have seen reviews where they have moved around a lot in packaging and in transit so let's see how they arrive hopefully they are in one piece I'm sure they will be let's just have a look and see how they arrive so I'm gonna open the box they all seem to be in one piece so far so far so good but they've been grouped together in quite strange colors so I will change those as soon as I can so again not the colours that I would choose, but they seem to be all together so far. And again, these aren't colour choices that I would put together, so I will change those and you'll see the colours that I put them together in later. And obviously you can choose your own, but um, what I would say is I'm wor a bit worried about these trays. They're quite flimsy. Um, obviously I, I'm not going to be moving around with these but I think that they would all fall off very easily and I can see here that this bottom row they've moved around and I can see a red piece of red lead in the bottom um, and that indicates to me that and I can see the red pencil that that has broken off um, but nothing major let's just have a quick look underneath yes so nothing nothing major I have seen a lot worse so that's the red pencil there that's come off but um, nothing nothing too dramatic that can't be resolved once I had opened my pencils the first thing I needed to do was to shade this pre-printed sheet which I have put a link for in the description below I found this really helpful because it gave me an idea of what the colors were it also helped me plan my pencils out and I'm sure I'll find it useful in the future because each of the colors has a number printed below it and this will help me plan my images in the future. So for the blending technique demonstrations, I'm going to start with layering and burnishing. I have put a list of the pencils that I have used underneath the description. So I'm going to start off with the layering using the side of my pencil to map out where the colors will go. All of your pencils must be sharp to do this technique because when I put the second layer on I'll be making small circular motions and going back over the colours and trying to go in between the gaps and overlapping the colours as I go through. Overall I'm happy with this technique and the way that the pencils blended in between one colour and the next. So I'm now going to move on to using solvent. I'm going to lay my colours in a similar way and I've listed all the colours I have used underneath the title. So I'm going to start by layering my colours using the small circular motions as I have done and I'm going to start by mapping the colours out first and then overlapping the colours with the tip of my pencil. Again like the previous technique making sure that my pencils are sharp and then when I finish layering those I will get a tiny amount of solvent which will blend the colours and I will do this very carefully. If you notice that there is a tiny amount of the solvent expanding around your shape or your sphere if you're doing the same thing and the same techniques as I am, don't worry that will dry, it does take a bit of time. And you must remember that when you are adding these layers on top that you need to make sure that your solvent is completely dry before you add the next layer otherwise it will just the marks will become quite wet and you will see your marks they won't be completely blended
and here is our finished sphere overall i'm really pleased with the marks and the blending of this sphere the next one i am going to be using a blending stump and again all of the colors that i have used are in a list underneath the title so again i'm going to start by layering and using the tip of the pencil marking out where all the colors are going to go and i will be using a blending stump unfortunately when i used the blending stump it made some quite dirty marks um, but overall this technique was okay The last blending technique that I will be looking at today is by layering white pencil on top of the colours that I will be using and I am using different tones of blue to create a 3D effect on this sphere and then I will be layering on top white pencil. Now I decided not to use white pencil in the end because I don't really want to use my white pencil from this set straight away. So I decided to use a different brand of pencil, which was um, the Giotto one. And this was a bit of a mistake because the blending didn't come out that well. So I think in future I would stick to the Prismacolor one because it may come out smoother. I would say out of the four techniques that I have looked at today, my best two examples were the burnishing and layering technique and the solvent technique just purely because they created the smoother and more 3D effect of the sphere. If you found this review useful make sure you check out the review playlist where you will find reviews on lots of different products. You can also check out the Prismacolor playlist. Don't forget that the links to all resources in today's review are in the description below. And if you would like to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of future content.